terrifying Japanese yokai supernatural creatures. Yokai have a long and storied history in Japan. They are a class of supernatural monsters, spirits and demons in Japanese folklore. These ghosts or supernatural creatures were often used to explain fearsome natural phenomena during the Meiji period and were held in high regard. Yokai range diversely from the malevolent to the mischievous, or occasionally bring good fortune to those who encounter them. They usually have spiritual or supernatural power, with shape-shifting being one of the most common. Jorogmo. The Spider Woman Yokai. It is depicted as a spider woman manipulating small fire-breathing spiders. It can shapeshift into a beautiful woman, so the kanji that represent its actual meaning are woman spider. Their body size averages between 2 to 3 centimeters long. But they can grow much larger. Some are massive enough to catch and eat small birds. Renowned for their size, their vividly beautiful colors and the large and strong webs they weave. The beautiful Jorogmo are also famous for the cruel destruction they wreak on young men. When a golden orb weaver reaches 400 years of age, it develops magical powers and begins to feed on human prey instead of insects. Jorogma make their nests in caves, forests, or empty houses in towns, possessing a cunning intelligence and a cold heart. They see humans as nothing more than insects to feed on. They are skillful deceivers and powerful shapeshifters, usually appearing as young, sexy, and stunningly beautiful women. Jorogma's favorite prey are young handsome men looking for love or other favors. When a Jorogma spots a man she desires, she lures him into her home with promises of affection. He is never seen again. Jorogmo spins silk threads strong enough to ensnare a grown man so that he cannot escape. They also have powerful venom that can slowly weaken a man day by day, allowing the spider to savor her victim's long and painful death. Jorogmo can control other lesser spiders, even employing fire-breathing spiders to burn down the homes of any suspicious meddlers. They are such skillful predators that a Jorogmo can operate like this for years and years. Even in the middle of a busy city. Piling up hundreds of desiccated skeletons of foolish young men. Gashado Kuro. The starving huge skeletons. Are giant skeletons 15 times larger than a regular human. They are made up of the bones of the deceased. Who either died in battle or during a famine. They are vengeful spirits who prey on humans eating anyone who happens to cross paths with them usually at 2 a.m. They are said to have glowing green or yellow eyes, and they make a rattling sound with their jaw as they approach. They are only destroyed when their pent-up anger is released from hunting enough humans, after which the bones disintegrate. Could she say Kona? Slit-mouth woman. This yokai is a malevolent spirit who takes the form of a beautiful woman wearing a mask, and carrying scissors. If you happen to encounter her in a dark alleyway, she will ask you whether she is beautiful. And if you reply with a no she will stab you. If you reply yes, she will pull down her mask to reveal that her mouth has been slit open from ear to ear. She will repeat her question and if you reply no she will stab you. But if you reply yes, she will slit your mouth with a scissor so that you can be beautiful like her. Unfortunately, there is no escaping this yokai. And an encounter with her will lead to either death or disfigurement. She was disfigured during her human life when her husband, a samurai, found out about her adultery and punished her accordingly by slitting her mouth. Yama Uba. The Forest Witch. These hags or witches live in the mountains and forests of Japan, and take the shape of filthy old women. The Yama Uba will lure travelers from the path by offering them shelter and food for the night, and will attack and devour them later in their sleep. Today. Disobedient children are often told that the Yamova will kidnap them if they do not behave. Some scholars believe that the Yama Uba find their origins in an old custom, during which elderly women were abandoned in forests during times of famine, or economic hardship in order to alleviate strain on resources. These women would be transformed by their rage and grief into evil witches, who take their revenge on unsuspecting passers-by. Ahumanto, this ghost will appear in front of you. If you decide to use the last stall in an elementary school restroom, the ghost will hold up two rolls of toilet paper one red and one blue, and ask you to pick a color. If you choose red, the ghost will stab you to death, covering you in so much blood that it looks like a red cloak. If you choose blue they will strangle you, or all the blood will be sucked from your body. In some versions, 
It is actually a serial killer waiting in the next stall, or a canate. The canate is a yokai who lives in toilets and reaches up to stroke people's rear ends. In this version, the color that the student chooses determines the color of the arm that reaches up. Jubukko, the vampire trees, these seem like ordinary trees. However, as one gets closer, heaps of human bones become visible at the base of the tree. By then it is too late to backtrack, and the tree will lift you up into its bow, sucking out all your blood with two blight twigs. Insects and birds will consume the rest of the corpse, until only the dry bones fall to the earth below. Jubako were ordinary trees once, but if a massacre or battle happened nearby, all the blood soaking the earth would be absorbed by the trees which transforms them into yokai. A baryon, or im. This is an imp-like creature who jumps onto the backs of unsuspecting travelers. Piggyback style. The name comes from this action. As one would ask for a piggyback ride by saying the phrase, a baryon, which is part of a local dialect in Niigata prefecture. Some versions of the myth state that, this yokai will get heavier with every step the traveler takes until the weight crushes them. Another version says that if the traveler is able to bear the weight, the abarion will turn into a sack of gold as a reward. Kappa. These yokai are aquatic creatures that populate Japan's lakes, rivers, wells and ponds. They are usually the size of a small child but with green reptilian skin, and a beak instead of a mouth. They have webbed hands and feet which allows them to efficiently tread water, as well as a shell on their back. On top of a kappa's skull is a deep crevice or dish filled with water, which is the source of all their power. If the dish is emptied or dries up, the kappa loses its powers. These yokai can be good or evil. They are some of the most intelligent yokai, able to learn human language, as well as possessing invaluable medicinal knowledge which some say they taught early humans. They like playing games and will be fiercely loyal if one manages to befriend them. However, they are also known to tear apart humans who swim in their waters, and will also kidnap and rape women. They are inescapable in water, but on land they can be outwitted in the following way. Due to their well-mannered nature they have to return a bow if you bow to them, which will empty the dish on their head. This will either cause them to lose their powers, or they will befriend you. They have two favorite foods, Cucumbers and human entrails. Cucumbers can often be found near bodies of water as offerings, as Kappa are revered in Shinto as water gods. Nuribotuki, Lacquered Buddha. This yokai is named after its appearance as a Buddha like him. With a round belly, a tail, and eyes hanging out of its sockets, it also has ink black oily skin and leaves a pungent smell wherever it goes. They usually appear at family shrines, called Butsudans which have been left open overnight, allowing them to crawl through from another world. In Japanese homes, but Sudan are closed each night to prevent such creatures from entering. They may also appear in homes that are run down, or if shrines are not properly cared for. They do not do much except flap their tail, and terrorize the unfortunate family whose but Sudan they crawled out of. Some legends state that they may even give false prophecies or try to trick humans. They can be kept at bay by sprinkling salt on the floor. And they will return to the Butsudan at sunrise. 